Hi guys, this is Angelic here. Today I want to showcase this um, Knight Superior Dragon, uh, the new Gundam from DLC2. So let's uh, quickly go through it. So firstly, I will say the pro for this Gundam is that it is actually all physical, which means that you can go through eye beams. I mean I've been few um, and then it has short cooldown for the main range so that you can do some sort of combo and uh, but the main issue about this is that it has low boost uh, you will see what I mean okay so let's go in So uh, later I will be going through, like right now I'm going through the combos, after that followed by parts, then skill. So ideally you want to keep the target in the air so that you can have additional 20 aerial damage as well as preventing aces which is your non-MA from getting back their balancer meter which is the blue bar where you see below. Um, so for combo wise, uh, let's just go through the normal attack first. So you can see at the 10 combo mark, uh, you have a slight cost. And then now we'll be going through the special melee. So this will be your special melee. Then your main range. Just that one spec uh, fireball. And then like your cannon is uh, then now it's sort of like your um, your burning Gundam where you use his piece right to grab the target or even your master Gundam. So so now let's get on with the combos. Okay, so for me I like to just hit to the maximum of 10 combos okay and then i will just press an x and then just special me up so now i did it a bit slow so let me do it again so 10 combos okay special melee and then i will just pull it so that i will get it into the sky and then just do the same thing again with 10 then i will just keep going um, Okay, so now let's go towards uh, what to do when you're in the sky. Like you see a bit of preview there. So you have actually three options. So let's get in the sky first. So you can just um, basic melee all the way because it's actually fast enough. Yeah, or you can you know make it faster a bit by just pressing uh, your boost when you are nearing the end but the target will just drop down slowly over time next um, you also have this thing just going up right normal attack until 10 again using your main range once and then just do your normal melee so so how to know like when you need to continue the chain so just take note when the both swords swing down that is when you need to do something okay so now the third way to continue the combo in the sky right is um you can actually use your sub weapon one together with your special mini so i'll be showcasing now so like as per usual 10 hits Okay, now will be your special melee and then just shoot back and then continue your normal attack. Special melee, shoot back, continue normal melee. Okay. So it seems to be easy, right? So you can just use uh, the three connecting, I'll say like connecting uh, move to continue your chain. Then, in case for those people who didn't know, actually, you can use the chain breaker. Let me just burn away the the so-called boost boost gauge first. Okay. 
Okay, that's a bit not good, right? So I can just do my uh, chain breaker, and then you can get, like, you can see that I get back all the boosts. Okay, now let's go into the parts that I would recommend. Okay. Um. So for parts wise. Uh, you can actually go for this um, so this is what I recommend so because ideally you will want to have a base melee uh, you can forgo away the range because like in fighter you are mainly using your normal melee or your special melee to do the main damage the main bulk of damage right, you see so this is why I'm recommending the base melee plus the physical melee and range attack percent. And for the third stats, um, you can go with the perfect guard window. So talking about perfect guard window, um, so like the places that you want to farm that has uh, you know something to link with your boss chip, right? So you can actually go in to the, let me see. Yeah, perfect guard window. So for the Dark Gundam chip beta that you can get. So there will be two locations that I'll be recommending. Um, so now uh, I'll be recommending for those people who does not have the DLC. So it's mainly just the game, right? So you know the game has the standard free EX missions. So you can get it from um, EX1 from here, EX1 to your um, EX mission 3 where it has your Dark Gundam here. Uh, just note that the drop here is only at the maximum of rank 9. Okay. Uh, for those that have the DLC, you can uh, you only can find it in uh, EX Mission Extreme Three, and it will actually give you a rank ten parts here. Yeah. So now let's go into your skill. So for maximum damage, right? Because like I was saying that you guys supposed to be in the air for additional damage and to prevent the Aces from getting back the Balancer Meter so this is what you should be using so it will be your Air Rider your Armor Piercer and then your Technician so you can continue the combo in the sky with more damage and then um, or you could actually change out this Technician to uh, mine mine eye let me just go into it yeah mine eye so then you can cast your spa oh and right i think i missed out on the spa so later we'll just be going in and just do that very quickly and then uh it has actually quite nice of a damage uh for the spa for me uh my numbers it shows uh 10,000, and then when i use this mine eye it gave me about I think 12k yeah so like additional 2 to 3k damage um, for using the energy gain if I want to have additional 2 to 3k damage um, yeah but ideally for me um, I actually would prefer to go uh, to have like change out my air rider into uh, medic you know so to survive longer and I will also be changing this technician because if you are playing with uh, public right like, like random you do know the pain of having a sharpshooter blasting away the target that you are doing air, you know aerial damage so for this case, I'm not going to use Technician because I will never be able to use finish my um, boost. So I'll be using this Mind Eye. 
So the good thing about this mine, mine eye is that uh, you can actually you know spam more without having the limitation of you know forcing yourself into the aerial fights. So uh, I will have one special mention that you can use. Uh, so like I did mention about perfect guard window right so for this case you can use concentration to increase your perfect guard window even further so you can have an instant um, counter where you send the target up into the sky right but uh, there will be some some uh, not recommending energy gain yeah so previously I was mentioning that the energy gain uh, is uh, you can use it to get back like 2 to 3k damage however um, that 2 to 3k actually is not that much comparing of you doing your normal combo so that is why I wouldn't be recommending this and then um, you also have this identify here that use your roll action for your next guard is a perfect guard so like if you are the one that do somehow burn away your boost this would be a very bad choice because uh, you want to use your skill meters for your chain breaker however if you want to force a perfect guard you can actually use this it's just that I don't recommend it but it can be it's usable okay it's, it, it is usable and then next um, you have this melee maniac so the reason for this is simply because uh, both melee maniac and sniper does not um, outperform the armor piercer so that is why I'm not recommending this too and the next one is the hyper power which is your 100% HP only that increases melee damage um, I mean I don't think you'll be 100% health all the time right so that is why I'm not recommending it then next is your meter maxer so on this paper it looks nice but uh, it only increased by a bit like maybe 20 30 damage that is not much comparing you using like an armor piercer which actually increased quite a bit because you're removing away the cut rate of the enemy yeah so let me so that's it for the skills so let me quickly go in and um, quickly perform the SPA yeah let me so I'm sorry about that Let's go, let's go, Oh, I didn't catch it. Oh no. <laughs> I mean... Sometimes you fail, right? Yeah, so you can see like the so-called boost cap is actually quite little. So which is why you want to use your technician if you are planning to go um, air rider. Which is very crucial, or actually in fact any... Actually you should be using your technician. I need to not that long. Hey, I have my SPA now. Nice. So let me just show you SPA in the sky. So you can see the target will just freeze there, right? And then you will see the target. So for that case, it's a 15,000, but actually it's not that high. Right? Yeah, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.
I hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, if you do want to find a group to play uh, there is a discord group that I normally find group in I'll be leaving the discord link below so you can join yeah that's all and once again thanks for watching and see you guys next time